All right, this one we're going to use an app from Harvard, which is still working. I've told them they should take it down, but they don't care. And this app has broken HTTPS. So download that GenieMD and uh, drag it and drop it on the phone. Yeah, show in folder. Yep. And drag and drop it on your phone. It's GenieMD.apk. It's highlighted. Yep, yep. Yep. And it doesn't matter where I no. set, where we're at in the phone. No, it doesn't. It'll automatically install it. There we are installing. And now if you drag that thing up, you should see a Genie MD app, or I think it's called Harvard. Oh, it looks like maybe you'll need to oh there it goes. It's Harvard. It's on the left side. Uh now that something weird happened. Just drag it up from the bottom again. Let me let it set for just a second. Yeah, yeah. Let's maybe it's stuck or something. To, yeah. yeah. I don't think it's Seems a little flaky. There, I see it on the left, halfway down, Harvard. Uh, Harvard, okay. Good. Okay, and just uh, con continue here to approve the permissions. Okay. All right, and there, it's warning you. Oh, I think you hit update, didn't you? No. Oh, good, I okay. Didn't. Don't No, don't update. Just click OK yeah. on the right. It's, just, it's buggy. It's just oh, good, it's good. Page. Yeah, so here, just click OK on the right. Okay. And then try logging in, sign in on the bottom right, and give it a fake name. Oh, that'll do. An email is fine. Then uh, an email and password. Fake email and fake. The one of the important thing is a fake password. Okay. Because it's going to be stolen. Yep. And then sign in. Okay. Now notice, by the way, it sent it to the server, and the server noticed that you don't have an account. So that's okay. bad. It should have refused to send it. Well, in an ideal world. Now go look in Burp and uh, scroll down and you should see some stuff going to Harvard Genie MD. There it is. The post at the bottom should be the one that sent your password. The next one down there. And there's your username and password. But this oh, is... My email sign in. There's my user. Okay, I see that. However, this is not a vulnerability because you told the phone to trust Burp. Mm -hmm. So you want to revoke that permission and see if it continues to send it. So you okay. go into settings on your phone and um, revoke the BERT certificate, which uh, security, I'm looking. Right? Yeah, it'll be security certificates. There, security advanced encryption and credentials. And then there's a clear credentials right there, right at the bottom. Clear credentials, so, remove, so we're removing the BERT. We are. Board. Yes, okay. and to Got check it, it um, open Chrome, and I'll try to open a secure page. Okay, so Just open Chrome, and go to like uh, Google.com or Yahoo.com. Yeah, it's just a little buggy. And you should get oh, there now. You get that war, and you get that warning that's message, traffic. and that's what you want. That warning message is telling you that the HTTPS is detecting a man in the middle attack and warning you about it. So the Genie MD app should not let you log in. It should also pop up an error message. So now go back to the Genie MD app, yep. or Harvard app, and try to log in again with a fake password. Uh, this is the most serious, most common vulnerability that I found that anybody will fix. It's, the most common is code modification, but nobody cares about that. There, sign in. And now, see, it told you it's incorrect, which means it did send it to the server. And if you look in Burp, you'll see you had a chance to steal it. Scroll down a bit. Yep, there's the post at the bottom. And once again, you caught the password, and this time you definitely shouldn't because it doesn't trust Burp. So this is what happens a lot. People write apps, and they turn off the verification of the certificate. Mm. and they forget to turn it back on. And the reason they do is while they're developing an app, they want to test the network connections with something like Burp, and rather than properly configure their phone to trust it, they just turn off the validation. So it'll go through, and then they forget to turn it back on when they distribute the real app. Mm. So this is a really common flaw. This flaw affects something like 10% of Android apps and like 3% of iOS apps, at least as of a few years ago. It's very common, and you can actually get sued by the Federal Trade Commission for this. A company was saying this is not sufficient security.
So we can test our own apps in the same way, right? You can. And I highly I encourage it. And if you test like 10 or 20 apps, you'll find one with this flaw. I, I've, I've notified hundreds of companies of this. Very few of them will fix it, but it is a serious problem. Now, is that because you just go through and you test stuff? Yep, just like this. I tested hundreds of apps for this several flaws. There's several flaws that are easy to find in Android apps. Broken certificates, plain text transmission, plain text local storage of credentials, and code modification are the, the main ones I tested for. And like code modification, 90% of apps are vulnerable to that. This one, it's maybe 5 or 10%. Okay. All right, so we did, we removed the yep. certificate. Um, let's see. Do we need to do this? No, you don't need to. Okay. Uh, so Logging in again. We yep. did that, and, and it let me. It stopped me, but it still shows up in Burp. Yep. Okay. So there, I saw this. Got yep. that. Okay. And again, so it's the. Uh, pretty. Uh, okay. Let's see. Yeah, you're. So and if you look in Burp, power. in Burp, you'll find the flag and the X powered by. On the right, the X powered by. Yeah. Right there, glass fish. Uh, that's true. It'll work. Yep. It's also the one I highlighted was actually the one in the X powered by, but it's the same word. Oh, right there. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. It's the same word in both places. And this is Harvard running that, and they've been running it for like eight years with these flaws, ignoring my reports. So. Well, they should know better. Well, you know, when I, there was an Indian financial company that had the worst app in the world, and I used them for years, and when I finally gave a talk at DEF CON last year, they finally fixed it. That humiliated them enough. <laughs> that one was great. You could connect to their server, and it would tell you everybody's password. It was unbelievable. And they left it that way for years, even when I reported it. So I gave people uh, one of the one of the flags was steal my password. <laughs> it was bloody awesome. If you tried to log in, it would send your name to the server and then retrieve the correct password from the server and then compare it on your device. So it would reveal everybody's password right in the log. It was bloody awesome. Anyway, um, that's the first flag there, and there are some more flags you can hunt for here. But I'm going to stop the recording.